Hello everyone and welcome to a professional match of StarCraft 2. Joining me in the upper left, the blue nexus and probes belonging to Creator. And his Terran opponent. Some guy, some Terran. You know him. In the upper right, the red command center, it is Maru. That probe, that was quick. Creator, what are you up to? Shenanigans, business, harassment in the workplace. Oh, gonna have to find HR, some guidelines for you, Mr. Probe. Maru undeterred though, just pulls a couple SCVs. It's totally fine. Do not get into the mindset of, I can't pull any workers, I have to keep mining because I need every ounce of minerals I can possibly get. Mm -mm. Not a good mindset to have, guys. Just pull a worker off of the mineral line and go after that probe. Double gas by Maru, pretty quick compared to the normal standard stuff. Hmm. And he, he is saturating it. Okay. Creator, I think, making the right decision. He sees the double gas. He sees that barracks. He says, hmm, I think I'm going to get my core before the Nexus. I agree with that. 100% safety first, kids. Factory goes down for the Terran hero. No, not hero. Hero's a Protoss player. Hero of the Terrans? Enough of that. Bro, what are you doing now? Come on. Protoss. Really? Stargate? Pylon? Alright. Looks like there's a quiet moment while the Reaper does his checking around. Welcome to the map, Stargazers. That's unusual. Maru, are you really putting a command center here? Huh. Okay. I was going to talk about the map for a second and say that the main bases have this somewhat pocket base. It's not really a pocket base. It's more of an alternate expansion. But it's blocked by minerals. These are just small 10 mineral patches, so you can mine them out pretty quickly. Maru is going to actually expand there. The reason I'm so confused, or probably better to say concerned about that is Protoss have Blink. Blink is a very common opener for the Protoss, and with a little bit of high ground vision, an observer, a warp prism, you can easily get into that base. Reaper gets into the main base, sees gateways, Cybercore researching. It is a robo after that, and that was a proxy gate made by Creator here, so probably just a forward warp in position. We're looking at a three gate robo play. Not all in, not hugely aggressive, not like a four or five gate, but still the potential for damage is high. What has Maru done with all that extra gas? Not a whole lot. I mean, he's getting tanks. He's got a medevac out. Got some widow mines to man the door. Get the heck out of here, adept. Back to ire with you. Command center did finish up. He mined out those minerals right away, so he's probably going to move that command center, move that CC into the correct position. Creator going to start Knocking on the front door, though, Siege Tank gets here. Siege mode engaged. Stalker's gonna have to back up. Single Widow Mine drop. Forces the recall. That was a little bit of a panic move, I feel, Creator. Hmm. Wow, the medevac. Dangerously low. Now, good luck getting out of there. This was an excellent pylon by Creator. Already paying dividends there. Maru did get the CC in place. Creator did not find a whole lot of damage on the other side of the map. Hurt the depot's feelings a little bit. Depots, they got feelings, right? Do not be mean to your depots, guys. They do a lot for you. 
Preet are going to take the third base, meanwhile getting the Robo Bay, so now we can place our bets. Is it going to be Colossi? Is it going to be Disruptors? Or the dreaded Observer Speed? Mm. Probably not Observer Speed. But he does have Observers, so you know, it's not far-fetched, right? Sees this expansion, says, oh, crap, there's a base over there? Paru took the base. There's no defenses, though. There's no siege tank up on the high ground. The observer can just park right here. He's not actually getting blink, though. How can you not? How could you not open up blink on this map, creator? I'm surprised. It is looking like a Colossus drop is the play. You heard me. No, it's not 2010. We do know what we're supposed to do with the game, so we're going with a Colossus drop instead. Marvelous. Marines caught out on the map. They do not have stim, they do not have shields, and they do not have much hope of fending this off without the siege tank. The Colossus gets in the warp prism. How does it fit in there? I don't know. That is a mystery even I cannot solve. Speed finishes for the prism, and now the Colossus gets out. Lasers activated Maru. Says, what the hell was that? The lasers coming out of that prism. So the Colossus drop already proving wildly successful. Eight kills? Jeez. This is what happens when you expand to an exposed base without any defenses. There was no Viking, no sensor tower, nada. Bubkiss. Zilch. Colossus drop successful. Disruptors are going to be the follow-up along with the Twilight Council. Did I hear a recall? The recall? Oh, it was probes to the gold base. Of course it was. Medivac tried to move out of its uh, forced prison there and proves very unsuccessful. Medivac dies off. Colossus took a little bit of damage. Just shields though. Not too much. How are we doing on the numbers? That is impressive, actually. Colossus Drop doing great work here. Triple Threat finishes up for Mr. Maru, which means the Terran has now unlocked the ability to actually leave their base. And if you play Terran in the matchup, I think you know what I mean when I say that. It feels bad sometimes. Warp Prism getting very low, though, Creator. Gotta be a little bit careful with that. Maru, you made it so far. Do you really have to drop? Okay. I get it. You have to do it. Okay. That's fine. I'm, oh, he, dro he drops just to kill the scouting prison. Just to scare creator. Two disruptors. Is that it? There's the third one somewhere. One clips a couple of marines. Marvin, the marine, pays the ultimate price. Where's the third one? Not here. Oh, great. Siege tank focus fire takes out a stalker, damages the disruptor hull. Does Maru know about the base? He does not. He does not know about this base. And I'm thinking Creator is really hoping he doesn't. Because this is pretty well exposed. Siege tanks set up in a lovely spot behind the rocks here. Army not going to be able to crack that, I think. Newly placed Nexus in peril, in danger. Charge is going to finish up. Disruptor not too successful over here. Single Zealot gets two SCV kills before dying off. Nexus is destroyed by the Terran opponent. Go this way. Go this way, Maru. Army. Creator probably wants to jump on this. He's got a lot of charge lots. 18 just suddenly. Charge lots for days. Disruptor shot onto the tanks and the bio. The tanks are going to be picked off unseaged, completely unaware. The charge lots flanking now, and that Terran army is gone. Just vaporized. Despite losing a Nexus, I'm thinking Creator is incredibly far ahead. Please. Put something in the production tab, creator. Don't make me look insane for saying you're ahead. Maru, after losing his entire army, is going to opt to drop on the other side of the map. I'm not sure I agree with that, but it looks like he's got enough here. He might be able to hold it. 
Doom drop of sorts. Marines and Marauders make their way into the main base. There is a cannon, there is an overcharged battery, but not for long. The Protoss force is scrambling. He denies Blink. Twilight Council finally meets its Twilight. And that's it. And he gets out. Okay. I would say that was pretty good, actually. I'm impressed. Did not want to commit and lose the entire army, lose every unit possible. Good job, Mara. Warp Prism, the Colossus. It's not a Colossus, it's a Disruptor, and it gets three SCVs. Of course it's not a Colossus. You can't do the same drop more than once. That's illegal. Everybody knows that. Protoss forces probably don't want to engage with the Terran there. Speaking of Terran, Maru does find that forward gateway. Still doesn't know about this base, though, and I feel like that's a little bit of a problem. Creator's just so far ahead on the money. Income. Well, Terran's ahead on minerals, but that's because mules exist. Maru. Maru. Oh my god. What was that? Sweet Jesus. The damage. Oh my heart, that hurt. Oh, poor freaking Marines and Marauders. Creator just steps into the natural like he owns the place. And I think at this point he does. Apparently Maru agrees with me too. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day. Show me that hit again. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, that's going in the thumbnail.